Hi, I'm Debbie Valabonini of MBA Mission. In addition to being a managing director here, I'm the HBS interview in residence. I served on the HBS admissions board and have interviewed candidates from all over the world, from every walks of life, pursuing every single possible goal you can imagine. There are no secrets to the HBS interview because it's highly customized to you. And I have a few tips for you if you're invited to be interviewed. First of all, it's truly a conversation. Yes, there are questions you'll have to answer, and the philosophy of the interview and how it actually unfolds are reflective of a conversation versus a traditional interview. The interviewer truly wants to get to know you. Always remember this. They know this is a big moment for you and want to make you feel as comfortable as possible so that you can shine. The people on the HBS interview board are there because they care about you and the experience you'll have in the interview. It's not a gotcha session. It is designed to help you put your best foot forward. Secondly, take preparation seriously. Even though it's a conversation, you still have to prepare. And I have seen very few people think they can wing it and do well in the interview. It'll be the fastest 30 minutes you'll ever experience. And this is what I used to tell candidates exactly uh, when I'd interviewed them. The interviewer prepares for the conversation and so should you. And this is what it means to prepare. Know yourself. So what does that mean exactly? At a minimum, you should know your entire application, right? Know your bullets on your resume. What did you do? What challenges did you face? What impact did you make? Reread your essays and even the brainstorming document that all MBA mission clients complete. Know the entire data form, our online application, especially where you mention significant challenges and accomplishments. All of these elements are fair game for questions. The thing that makes the HBS interview both somewhat straightforward and terrifying at the same time is that the questions come from you, your life, your path, and your impact. You are the expert on you, so be ready for anything. Knowing yourself also means being able to bring in relevant details not included in your application. There are probably projects that didn't make the resume because of space. Feel free to include them in the conversation if the question is relevant, right? There are backstories, impacts, challenges, and victories that probably didn't make it onto your resume, essays, or even recommendations. There is so much more that went behind the application and now it's time to bring some of those stories to life. So it's natural to think that the application is your final product. And in many ways it is. However, for the interview, the application is just the starting point. You are not limited to answers that only cover your application. Cull your life for relevant answers. And this is where judgment comes in to bring out what that is in the moment. By the time you get to the HBS interview, it's assumed you've experienced a lot, done a lot, and seen a lot. In other words, you have a lot to share. It's your job to share the complex parts of your experiences in a simple and easy to understand manner. For example, I interviewed a naval submarine engineer, and he was able to share the technicalities of his mission in such a way that even I, who knows nothing about submarines and is a civilian, can understand. So whether it's a financial transaction, something technical like software development or product development, it's your job to make it easy for the listener to understand without dumbing it down. And so one way to practice this is to share your stories with those around you who don't come from the same background. Are they able to follow you from the outset? Are they able to ask follow-up questions? Are they able to understand some of the lessons and takeaways from that experience? And this is a good guide for you to, to show how simple you're speaking. Be realistic. It's 30 minutes and you have to think about the 30 minutes as a budget. If you spend too much time telling me something I already know or relaying what's already included in your application, or taking a long time to share one story, then you just wasted an opportunity to share more. And remember, you won't be able to share everything about yourself. And that's not the point anyway. The point is to answer their questions as fully, yet succinctly as possible while sharing what's most important. And if you feel, with the keyword being feel, like you bombed an answer, then move on. You can't let any one thing derail you. It's not about maximizing each answer, it's about maximizing the arc of 30 minutes. And lastly, be light and have fun. Nerves are fine. You can always sense when somebody is ready to share who they are. They are light and having fun in the moment, and this is really hard to achieve. But remember this, 
The interview is not an exam and it's not about judging you. It's about understanding you. It's understanding who you are, what you've done, what are your values and what you want to do and where you want to go afterwards. In other words, it's about your life and you are the only expert on your life. So make sure you let that part of you shine. Thank you for watching and feel free to book a consultation or a mock interview with me. And I look forward to hearing your story.